Well, folks, I think I have a winner for the worst named new feature inside of Photoshop CS4. Uh, for a while, it was the feature called Content Aware Scaling, but it's t it's been it's been overtaken by this feature. And notice um, that I, I said it's the worst name feature. It's not the worst feature. It's actually a very good feature. I just think it's got a horrible name. All right, uh, it's right under Select. Go down to Color Range. And when the dialog opens up, uh, what color range helps us? Maybe I want to select this green background here, and um, I want to darken it because I'm going to want to put some text on there. It's a little, it's a little bit bright right now, so we can put some text on here. And if I make it darker, it'll make the text kind of stand out more. Well, what we're going to do is I'm just going to click on the background, and it's going to make a selection. You can see the preview here; everything that's white will be selected. So if I hold down the shift key, and this isn't new inside of CS4, this has uh, you know, actually been in color range for a while, because color range isn't new, color range has been with us for a while. Um, I can hold down my shift key, and I can click back here and select other points as well. And what we're doing is we're just expanding the range of the greens that we're selecting. Okay, But now we get to the new feature, which is up here at the top, it's called localized color clusters. It's a horribly named feature, um, and what it does is take a look at my selection preview here. Notice even though I clicked over here, see what's happening is it's selecting the greens over here as well and everything in her bouquet. And if really we just want to darken this area, well, it kind of becomes harder because it, it, we have to make a different selection. But if you turn on localized color clusters, watch what happens. It starts to limit the selection over here and it's starting to limit it to only the areas that I clicked on and then if you come down here to the range slider up at a hundred percent says hey make it a very broad range go ahead and select a lot of different greens but as you drop that down okay you see what we're able to do here so I'm able to drop out that left hand side and localize the selection that I made over here. So it only sticks over onto this part of the photo. And I might come back here with my shift key and just click on a couple other areas. All right, and that's looking pretty good. Drop my range down a little bit. So what it's done here is it's, it's giving you a way to um, kind of restrict your selection with the color range to only the areas you're clicking on and not the entire photo. Even though these greens are fair game over here, this localized color clusters um, setting is letting us drop those out of the selection. So I'm going to hit OK, and uh, we'll go into Levels, Command, or Control L. Maybe I'll take this white slider, and I'll just drop that down a little bit here, and we'll see. We'll darken the background deselect and then the last thing that I would do here would be to take my type tool and uh, just make a little text box up here let's choose a different font like something maybe Bickham script pro if I can find it here it is and uh, just you know May 18th 2008 on this day our two lives become one Aw. All right, so we can put some text there, and you know, just in this example, using that color range was a way for me to get in here and just kind of drop down this area so this text stands out a little bit more. But that's the new feature inside of color range. Again, color range isn't necessarily new itself, but that localized color clusters option is new, and it does help out when you're using the dialog box to help you just kind of fine-tune that selection to the area you want it in.